G'day guys and welcome to another video. Today I've got the beauty of picking the best premium dock over the last decade. There was only a few obviously to choose from and there normally is with um, this kind of I suppose assignments but um, I don't think there's any real surprises here. There was um, one that I had in mind that recently retired so if you know who Aaron Sandilands is that was one player I had in mind. Started all the way back in 2002, so um, look, here is a chance, but uh, I didn't choose him. The player I did choose, though, was Natalie Fife. 173 games, nearly 150 goals next to his name. I, I have to go to Wikipedia because there's so many things to remember, but um, he's a beautiful gentleman, to, to say the very least. Um, yeah, he's just been... An absolute star, an absolute star. We'll have a look at his um, stats here. He's been the captain for the last few years. Won two Brownlee medals in the last five years. Um, he could have won three if he wasn't injured in 2014. A few Lee Matthews trophies, you have to be pretty good if you want to be in Lethal's book. Three All-Australians, including the captaincy, three best and fairest. What more can you say? Um, Jimmy Stein's medal as well, 2017, so look, um, He's the ultimate professional. Um, he, he's one of the best overhead marks I've seen with the likes of Bartell in the midfield. He's uh, Jimmy Bartell, for those of you at home that um, need reminding. So, um, look, he's yeah, he's an absolute jet. He's, he's a real firewire up forward. I feel like he kicked three in the second term against the Hawks this year. So, And this is over. He obviously started his career in uh, 2010, I believe. And that's when he debuted, if I'm correct. Yep, started in 2010. So over the course of the decade, and I've just revealed my runner-up, uh, David Mundy, there. But um, yeah, one of the best players in the competition. So it's hard to go past him. And he's been one of the best players for a while. So that five was really easy there. And then David Mundy, obviously, he's been around, I think, since... 2003 thereabouts so um yeah he's played over 300 games nearly 150 goals he's um he's a utility but he's been mainly midfield the second half of his career which is quite ironic but he, he started off at center half back and he's moved around and he's just he's just been a constant um with the dockers so look he's just been an ultimate club man part and soul of the club and just uh contributes and he's just ultra reliable which is sort of a, a a trait that I value, which um, you might have found with some of these selections. So that's uh, the best docker for the decade, Nat Fife, nice and easy one. Um, David Mundy and Aaron Sandilands right next to him as well. But um, yeah, he's definitely been an absolute superstar and will go down as an all-time great, no doubt about that. Feel free to chuck in, if there was anyone other than Nat Fife, feel free to chuck in your best docker of the decade. Looking forward to seeing that. And uh, appreciate your time, guys. Like the video and subscribe away. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. And I'll see you all in the next video.